Hi, I'm Chef John Mannion from Elche Steakhouse and Bar here in Chicago's West Loop. Elche is a Midwestern version of a classic Argentine parejada. Uh, I spent a lot of time in Argentina as, as a young cook and I was really blown away by just the the methods of cooking that they were employing there and it definitely put a you know a zap on my brain and I, I had this idea that I wanted to cook Midwestern food honoring those traditions here at Che. New Zealand venison has been in the market for a long time and it's always been an outstanding product. People who are looking for a lot of flavor, uh, lean protein, it's, it's right up their alley and it's conducive to a lot of different cooking methods. When I think about using venison, it's very specific for me. It is the center of the plate, it is going to grab all the attention and I like to focus really on the flavor that it, it imparts the dish. Today I'm going to prepare Servina Venison Denver Leg. I'm going to grill it simply over oak coals. We're going to serve it with Japanese sweet potatoes that have been coal roasted, chimichurri, salsa criolla, and a vinegar caramel. My style of cooking here at Che is the um, the method is, the technique is the cuisine. We try to take really, really nice ingredients and products, grill them simply, kind of honor the flavors, and serve them more or less unadorned. Some accents here and there, but, but let, the, let the fire and let the product speak for itself. So the reason that I'm using Denver Leg or highlighting Denver Leg today is that normally on a leg cut on other animals, you would tend to braise or stew or long cook in some way, shape, or form, the muscles that have developed um, over time, you know, obviously they stand on their legs. This is very different. We're going to cook the, these leg muscles very quickly and serve them rare. There's very little intermuscular fat, so what you're gonna get is just this rush of beautiful lean flavor. In terms of grilling the Denver leg, we're gonna take a look at the, the muscles that we have to work with. We're going to trim them. We're going to season them very simply. We're going to get our coals ripping hot. And we're going to just place beautiful grill marks. The venison that I get from New Zealand, from Servina, is really, really consistent in flavor, in size, in texture. It's just, I think they've got it down to a science. The coal roasted sweet potatoes are something that we've done for some time here. When we have nice embers, we'll wrap the uh, sweet potatoes in foil, place them in the embers, let them roast till they're just about there, pull them out, cool them down, slice them, and then we'll um, grill them on the chapa, which is a, a plancha, which is a just kind of a, a fire-fueled griddle. The way that we're going to assemble this is put some vinegar caramel on the plate, we're going to um, take our sweet potatoes off the chapa, season them, place them over the vinegar caramel. The interplay there is fantastic. Uh, a little bit of chimichurri on top of that. We're going to slice our venison and put it on top of the sweet potatoes and then garnish with some salsa criolla. I mean, Servina venison, the animals never see the indoors. Uh, they're completely grass fed. The meat has a milder flavor than I think that what we're used to in the Midwest with deer that forage, but it's the grassiness comes through and it's got a really herbaceous quality to it. So here we have our Servina venison Denver leg grilled over charcoal, served with vinegar caramel, Japanese sweet potatoes a la chapa, chimichurri, and salsa criolla.